Ricky Tiki Tavi, a truly brave mongoose. Created by Starfall. This is the story of Ricky Tiki Tavi, a truly brave mongoose. A mongoose is a bit like a cat and a bit like a weasel. They like to snoop around. The mongoose family motto is. Run and find out. A mongoose can move with super speed. They are known for hunting and eating snakes. If you lived in the jungles of India, there would be no better pet than a mongoose. This story will explain why this is so. When Ricky Tikki Tavi was still a young mongoose. He was carried away by a flood. The water took him from his mother and father. He nearly drowned. A little boy named Teddy found Ricky Ticky Tavi lying on the garden path. Teddy thought the mongoose was dead. Teddy's father carried the wet mongoose into their bungalow. Father dried Ricky Ticky Tavi with a warm towel. The mongoose opened his eyes, blinked once or twice, and then sneezed. Father set Ricky Ticky Tavi on the ground. Father said, "Don't frighten him. Step back. Let's see what he does." Ricky Ticky Tavi sat up and put his fur in order. Then he climbed up onto Teddy's head. Many animals lived in the garden around the bungalow. Most of the animals were kind, but some were not. Two cruel cobra snakes named Nag and Nagina ruled the garden. All the other animals were afraid of them. Nag and Nagina were angry. Ricky Ticky Tavi had come to the bungalow. They knew that a mongoose could kill a cobra. Nagina came up with a wicked plan. She hissed to Nag, "You slither into the bungalow and bite the father." The family will go away and take the mongoose with them. A bird overheard the cobra's voices. She spread the news all over the garden, but Ricky Ticky Tavi did not hear of it. Ricky Ticky Tavi usually slept under Teddy's chin, but tonight he was restless. He wanted to snoop around. He quietly opened the door to Teddy's room. Squeak! cried a muskrat. Please don't hurt me. Why would I hurt you? asked Ricky Ticky Tavi. You won't hurt me, but rumor is I might get hurt by being with you," answered the muskrat. Ricky Ticky Tavi was surprised. "What is this rumor? And tell me the truth," he said. "Nag and Nagina, the cobras, want you to leave the garden," answered the muskrat. The muskrat told Ricky Ticky Tavi about the cobras' plan to bite Teddy's father. Ricky Ticky Tavi's eyes glowed red. He loved his new family. It was his duty to protect them. He would not let anything harm them. Just then, Ricky Ticky Tavi heard hissing voices coming from the bathroom. Ricky saw Nag slide silently in through a crack in the wall. He watched Nag's shadow coil behind a water jug. Nagina did not follow. Nag said to himself, 
I will hide here in the bathroom. When the father comes in, I will bite him. Ricky Ticky Tavi would have to move fast. He quietly climbed on top of a water jug, and then. Ricky Ticky Tavi flew from the jug and grabbed onto the back of Nag's head with his teeth. The giant cobra thrashed about. Ricky Ticky Tavi held on with all his might. The family heard the thrashing and woke up. They ran to the bathroom. Both the cobra and Ricky Ticky Tavi lay still. Teddy cried out, "Oh, Ricky Ticky Tavi, are you all right?" Ricky Ticky Tavi slowly raised his head. He was alive. Nag the cobra was no more. Father saw Ricky Ticky Tavi had saved the family. Father said, "Thank you." You are truly a brave mongoose. Ricky Ticky Tavi did many other great deeds. You can read about them in *The Jungle Book* by Rudyard Kipling. The end.